how to create an invoice on PayPal. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm here in PayPal right now. This is just a regular PayPal account. This is not a PayPal business account. They do look slightly similar, but there's some things that are different. So let me show you how to create and send an invoice. Once you are logged in and you're in the home tab, in the right hand area, you can see here that it says create invoice. If you don't use this or haven't clicked on it before, you might have to click the more button and scroll down to see the create invoice option. So I've got it right here. So I'm going to click on it. In this area, you're going to see that it's on the new version of PayPal. And at the time of filming this video, it is 2024 February. So you've got basically two sides going on. On this side, you're going to be entering in some information. And on the right hand side is the preview. So you're going to have three different previews. You're going to have a PDF preview, a mobile preview, and an email preview. Okay, so let's pretend to do an invoice. Customer name or email. So you're going to need the email. So if you don't already have this customer in here, it's going to ask you create new customer. And you just click the plus button here. And then you're going to want to add in their name. All right, so once you've added their name, you can click add. You can add more recipients if you want, if there's multiple people that need to see this invoice. Next here, what are they paying for? So you want to enter in what it is that you're going to be charging someone for because you need to send this invoice. If you haven't added it in before, you're going to see that it's going to say create new item and it's going to have the item that you've listed. Click the plus button again and it's now going to add this in. From here, it's going to ask you, is this goods or services? So for us, we do online services like YouTube coaching or graphic design or website design or YouTube channel management. So this would be a service. A good would be something physical likely. So I'm going to click services. So from here, it's going to ask you how many hours you did the service at what rate and the currency. So I'm here in Canada. So that's why it's set to CAD. And let's say 195 an hour is what we usually charge for a call. So if you click this button right here, a side pop-up window is gonna come up and you can add tax, a discount and the date. So I'm gonna X out of that. You can put a description if you want. I'll put something like this describing the service in more detail. When you're done, you can click add. This ship items is toggled off because I don't need to ship anything. You can click add more items if you have more than one item. And if you make a mistake, you can click X to get rid of the item. If you have other charges or fees, you can add them on here. It's gonna have the total here. Here in add payment terms, you can allow a partial payment. So if you click that and let's say you only require $50 up front, you would put 50 here and that would allow the person receiving to pay the minimum 50 or they still have the option to pay the whole amount. Here, I would always, always check this off, allow tip. So when you click this function, it automatically has this thing that allows someone to give you an extra tip. And this has been amazing. When we've sent out our invoices, we don't ask for a tip or anything. All we've done was just turn that on and people have given us generously. And it's crazy that people actually will put extra tip in there. So you click save and then you can add notes or attachments. So if you have any documents, images, anything like that in the notes tab, I would write a thank you note to the person you're sending it to. So I usually put something like that. I'll put their name. I'll say, thank you so much, Jenny, looking forward to getting started. You know, make it personable. They are giving you money. You can add more things like terms and conditions, a reference number if you have it, a memo to yourself that doesn't get seen by the person that you're giving the invoice to. I pretty much leave all this blank. And again, here with the attachments, you can add a JPEG, a GIF, PNG, PDF. You can only do up to five files and four megabytes per file. I don't usually use this. So you can see on the right hand side that you can see what the preview looks like. You can do PDF preview, mobile preview, or email preview. You can also edit the date and the invoice number and the due on receipt. So if you click on it, you can change all these three things. 
I typically leave this as is. So it generates its own invoice number, the date that you're actually sending it, and then typically do on receipt. So you can click on the more actions tab and you'll see here it says share link to invoice, save draft, edit business info if you need to add or edit a logo. And another cool thing is you can save this as a template. So if you know that you're already going to be using this every month, you're going to be charging some someone every month, it's in your best interest to save this as a template so that you can just load it up the next time. Once everything looks good, you scroll through. Typically, I would just look at the email preview and the PDF preview. If everything looks good, then you can click send. Once you send it, an email from PayPal from you gets sent to your customer, the person receiving the invoice, and then they'll be able to pay your invoice. They don't need a PayPal account to pay an invoice. You can have one or they can just use your credit card. Once you send your invoice, you can go to the invoices tab and you can get there by clicking create an invoice and then just click the back button. Not sure why they don't just have an invoices tab. And then from here, you will see your invoices that you've sent out. And once the person pays, it'll say paid. So that's how you create and send an invoice through PayPal. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.